So the Prime Minister tonight reacting to what has happened over the course of the last 48 hours. His conclusion, very simple, it's all the far right, as if they're causing all of the problems. No, the far right are a reaction to fear, to discomfort, to unease that is out there shared by tens of millions of people. Let me be clear. I don't support street violence. I don't support thuggery in any way at all. But I'm worried not just about the events in Southport, but about societal decline that is happening in our country. Law and order, folks, on our streets is breaking down. This Prime Minister hasn't got an earthly clue how to deal with it. We need to start getting tough. We need to use stop and search, regardless of the colour of the skin of anyone that gets stopped. We need tougher prison sentences for anybody carrying a knife. We need folks to get real because I tell you what I tell you what what you've seen on the streets of Hartlepool of London of Southport is nothing to what could happen over the course of the next few weeks let's have proper law and order but Mr Starmer just to blame a few far-right thugs to say that's the root of our problems doesn't work What the changes in India's population and the differential growth rate. This city has emerged. We have a very special the guest show, on the record. The interview. The role that the uh, US side played at that point of time. Puri dunia ki nazar. Zoom, my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi. Aapke Bharat par hai. Episode of Know Your Candidate. The rising confidence of India and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Communist China is the greatest threat. There will come a day that we will see far more radical extremists. I'm, uh, I'm still a little perplexed by why we... Your daily dose of news from India and across the world. Cutting-edge views and analysis. Tune into HD videos, click on the bell icon to subscribe.